Welcome traders to analysis of uh, Bitcoin. Thanks for joining me in this analysis. On monthly time frame, uh, we found that there was a W pattern here and uh, we performed this analysis few weeks ago. So from this completion of W pattern, we were expecting a move down. And um, I also warned about a fake breakout, which actually happened around here. Um, Bitcoin is usually filled with fake breakouts on four hour and daily time frames. Um, so that caught a lot of traders around here uh, but we were looking for a short position because we had this w pattern completing right in that level right in that zone so since then it has been falling down if we go to the weekly time frame this is what we can see there is there are two complex w patterns that we had um, which are basically fcp patterns so one is like this uh, which completed here right at this level other one is this one which completed right there. Now this is kind of like an extended one, uh, but the other one is very important. So market has actually came there, um, it has come there and now it started to fall down. So if I bring in original analysis, this is what we were looking at. We knew that you know from this point, the market was going to go down to 10448 and we have met our target. This basically has given us near about this much of profit and once that market has broken this level uh, then we are expecting it to come down to 9209 now one of the things which is which are very important is that um, around here in a few data feeds we have a little bit of gap so market has not actually filled that gap yet I'm expecting market to come down at some point in time to fill that gap so far what we can see on weekly time frame that it has actually reached that profit target and fell down to uh, test uh, the mid of the bollinger band now it has started to move upwards now if it keeps on moving upwards then it can reach up to this level which is 10703 but before that it will have to go through this 10448 which we identified now that has obviously started acting as resistance but if uh, Bitcoin starts to move higher then we will be looking for 10,700 as our first level um, but uh, we will also be looking for short positions somewhere from here we'll be looking for short positions again from there if we get a good confirmation around that area uh, next week we can expect a little bit upward move or we can expect a straight downward move into this zone to fill that gap up and now if that gaps fill gets filled then we may see a little bit of upward movement but it is still looking like an you know, bearish at the moment so the plan is if we get a confirmation to go long this is the zone maximum that we are looking for if it starts to fall down and we get a confirmation then we look for that gap to be filled and if that zone is broken then we're looking for obviously the level that we identified few weeks ago which is going to be going to be 9209 so that's what we are looking at let's go to the daily time frame to see if we can find something else so far we can see that water cluster moving average has been acting as support uh, there have been one two three four five six seven seven attempts to break this uh, moving average but it hasn't been able to and um, but at the moment we see that this is looking uh, bearish right now because it is also struggling with this moving average so if this starts to pick up momentum then we are looking for a downward move into this zone which is also confluencing with this bollinger band boundary and if it starts to fall down then it is going to confluence nicely with 200 moving average automatically so everything lines up automatically uh, when you read the market uh, right uh, if the market starts to move higher uh, then this is the level that we are looking at but at the same time we have another level possibly and the reason behind that is because we also have an m pattern here um, we also looked into this structure here there are several wnm patterns so if you are a day trader and if you know how to trade wnm patterns fcp patterns then you can uh, trade them nicely um, around here we have an m pattern that we have completed 38.2 right there and that means market is expected to come down to 78.6 um, because we have a pattern showing up like this 
but there is a little catch to this pattern um, the catch is that you know if 61.8 starts to show some reaction around here then we'll have to like you know wait for that reaction to be over and that is why this is sort of like critical point for bitcoin if it starts to fall down and because the market has already like you know used up some of the bullish momentum it can fall all the way down to this level of 9209 and in extreme case it can also come down to this level this zone this is a wide zone at the moment but we'll see like we'll be able to read refine this zone later on once the market has like you know started moving towards it but that's uh, that remains to be seen for now uh, this is uh, the trading plan that we have on bitcoin hope you enjoyed this hope you found this useful um, if you did hit the like button in the comment section let me know what you think about this analysis what is your own opinion on bitcoin and um, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share this idea with other traders and trading community thank you